Proton-1 was launched on July 16, 1965 at 11.17 a.m. UTC from Site-81 at Baikonur Cosmodrome. This was the first launch from Site-81 because Site-81 was built for the UR-500 rocket which launched the Proton-1 satellite, and this was that rocket's first launch. UR-500 would eventually take on the name of its first payload, as many Soviet rockets do, and is now known as the Proton rocket. This initial version had two stages and was only used in four Proton satellite launches, of which three were successful. After that, an additional main stage was added to make the UR-500K, also known as the Proton-K, which typically also boasted a fourth transfer stage, the Block D. While it took the preeminent place in the Soviet and subsequently Russian launch vehicle lineup, only briefly pushed to second place during Energia's two launches, its initial development was rocky and filled with failures. It was only in 1977 that the Proton rocket was certified as having a 90% success rate. So even though there had been a desire in the 1960s to use it as a lunar flyby launch vehicle, it was not deemed safe enough for the first decade of its history. This first launch though was successful and allowed the Soviets to match the launch capabilities of the Saturn 1 which had been tested on four orbital launches to this point with 7.7 .7 ton Apollo boilerplates. The Proton-1 satellite was a massive 12.2 ton science payload with Earth observation capabilities as well as high energy particle instrumentation. It was likely as heavy as it was to simulate future uses of the Proton rocket. Initially, the UR-500 was meant to loft the heaviest of nuclear weapons to their target and use storable fuels to function properly as a ballistic missile, but it was never deployed for that mission. Instead, it is most famous for launching long-range exploration missions and Earth orbit station modules. The design bureau responsible for the Proton satellite also worked on the Almaz military space stations and the VA spacecraft system. At its time, Proton-1 was the heaviest functional satellite ever launched, and it was surpassed in November 1968 by Proton-4, the 17-ton payload for the first Proton-K launch, though by then the US had launched some fairly substantial non-satellite spacecraft. Thank you for watching this mission profile of Proton-1.